Now I want to add elevation symbols. I type I, enter, and I here I just type E because I know that the name of the block that I want is elevation symbols and see AutoCAD suggests all the uh, blocks that start with E. Actually that's what I wanted so I just press OK and I place it maybe here. It doesn't matter if you just cover the table. Uh, then the page that I can see this elevation, it's page D2. So I change this one to D2 and yeah, this is elevation A, page D2. The next elevation that I want to see, it's, this is A, D is the elevation with the sliding door, with the pocket door. So I go back to floor plan uh, you can just copy this one, you know, and place it here and just, you know, modify it. Sometimes I prefer to have something really organized. If you like it this way, you can just draw, for example, a square 0.5.5. Then you can rotate it 45 degree. Then just place it, for example, from the center of this shape and now I go copy this one grab the same point as my base point and I just go around and copy it like this then I just <clears throat> delete the square then I come back and modify the elevation symbols just double click the page is the same, just this one is elevation B. Okay, double click on this symbol and this would be elevation C. Okay, and this is elevation D. Next, I would modify the direction of the arrow. So you just click on it, grab this and here, this one, grab it, place it there, and click on this one, grab the circle, and I place it there. So that's it. Again, if you want, you can place your dimension, I mean the elevation symbols anywhere, but I like it like that. It's more organized. And finally, I'll go over my drawing and check all the information. And uh, actually, I'm doing cross referencing. So I start with cover page. So we didn't use this title block. I don't need it. I just erase this one. And this one, if you look at it, we don't have those many pages. We have page D1 and D2. And our page D2 is our elevation. So I erase this one. Then I move my interior elevation. And see, I use this one as my guideline. See the upper line I grab this corner I'm moving this to okay now it's here here I move it to there then I don't need any of this so I just select them and I erase them so page D1 this is not demolition plan what we have is floor plan so I change this one to floor plan. All information they should match up and then to make it nicer I can select this one and just add more dots kind of make it even with this one. So floor plan is page D1, interior elevations, page D2. What about here? Here it drawn by Kirish Nakos, it checked by me. I would change the date. So today is 0, 05. Oh, sorry, today is 15 and it's June 05. Okay, 2020. 2020. Okay, the rest is fine. Then I click on next page. This is floor plan. So this is floor plan page one, uh, page D1, and this is drawing one. What I have here, okay, see here, this is page. D1. So I just click here and modify this one. This is page D1. 
And what about the rest? See, I made a block of the rest of information because they repeat on all of my drawing. These are repetitive. So I don't want to go and change for, for example, for 10 different page. I know how many pages I have. I have just two pages. I click here and I go to the block editor and see here I will change this one to page D2. Then again, this is fine. This is fine. I will change the date to 15 of June. 2020 and what else the rest it's fine then I close save okay see so this is page D1 out of two page floor plan this should match this floor plan floor plan what about the scale this says that it's half inch scale I'll go check here, see here it says it's a quarter, so I have to change this one too. So it's half inch scale and the date is okay, it's good. And what else? Okay, that's it. This is good. I go to the next page and here it's fine. I'm telling them that if you want to see this in eleven in plan, you have to go check plan that it's on page D1 and here this is page D2 out of two pages I have so what about this one this is wrong I have to change it again these two should be the same here it's interior elevation so that one should be interior elevations too so I just double click here and I change it to your options. Okay, so to modify the text, you just click on it, grab this arrow, and just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, see, we don't have enough room. I would leave it that way. That's fine. Interior elevations, and that's it. So I have everything that I wanted and I'm done. Again my suggestion is just double click before you print anything you know go to preview and layout is good so let's have a look. Okay it looks good dimensions they are okay and yeah, they're not perfect but see again if you want to be really picky I would try to make them the same distance but it's not terrible okay it's okay I can accept something like that and let's go and check the other one cancel this one floor plan plot and previous plot and preview Okay, something is wrong here. Let me just double check. So here, yeah, see, you have to select the same printer. If this is PDF Creator, yeah, that's good. Because, see, when I set up my page, I select PDF Creator, and now I had different plotter. And what about this one? Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, it's okay. I can move this a little bit to the center because it's a little bit high, but it's not a big deal. I can leave it like that. Then save it as your final drawing you can add a date always to your drawing to know when you finish that 